In part 3, we have to verify that negative of negative x is equal to x for these two rational numbers x equal to 11 by 15 and x equal to minus 13 by 17. Now let's take a few moments and understand what this equation means. Negative of negative x equal to x. What, the, what does this mean? Well, it means that if you have any rational number x and you take its additive inverse, you will get negative x. And if you take the additive inverse of negative x once again, you will get negative of negative x. So what the problem wants us to show is that the additive inverse of the additive inverse of x gives you back the original rational number x. So this is what we have to show. So let's take part 1. In part 1, the rational number is 11 by 15. What is the additive inverse of 11 by 15? Well, the additive inverse minus x will be equal to minus 11 by uh, 15 because you just flip the sign of the numerator and uh, you will get minus 11 by 15. And you can verify that this is correct. Uh, 11 by 15 plus minus 11 by 15, this will give you uh, 0 because the numerators will add to 0. And this is your x and this is your negative x. So you have x plus negative x equal to 0. But the same equation also shows you that for if you think of this equation from the perspective, from the point of view of this number negative x, uh, for this number negative x, if you, if you add x to it, you get 0. So what is the additive inverse for negative x? What is the additive inverse for minus 11 by 15? What number when added to minus 11 by 15 gives you 0? Well, that number is 11 by 15. So we can conclude from this equation that the additive inverse of minus 11 by 15 is 11 by 15. So we can say negative of or the additive inverse of minus 11 by 15 is equal to 11 by 15. And this verifies this equality for us that negative of negative x. Uh, so let's write it negative of negative x is equal to x. Let's do the same thing for part 2. In part 2, the rational number is x equal to minus 13 by 17. So the minus sign has been written as outside to the left of the rational number. So we can take it in the numerator and we can write this as minus 13 by 17. Now what is the additive inverse of x? The additive inverse of x will be minus x which will be you take the sign, you take the numerator and flip its sign, invert the sign. So you will get minus x as 13 by 17. So the additive inverse of minus 13 by 17 is 13 by 17 and through the equation minus 13 by 17 plus 13 by 17 equal to 0, you can see that this is true. So the additive inverse of minus 13 by 17 is equal to 13 by 17. And this is basically your x and 13 by 17 is your minus x and this is equal to 0. Now once again, just as in the first part, this same equation these same equations show you, tell you what is the additive inverse of negative x or of 13 by 17. What number when added to 13 by 17 is giving you 0? Well, that number is minus 13 by 17. So the additive inverse of 13 by 17 will be minus 13 by 17. So we can write the additive inverse, which is negative of 13 by 17 is minus 13 by 17. From the same equation, we can see this, which means that the additive inverse or negative of 13 by 17 was uh, my, uh, negative x. So the ad additive inverse or negative of negative x is equal to uh, minus 13 by 17, which is equal to x. So once again, we get the uh, same, we verify the same equation, negative of negative x is equal to x. Well, the argument I used can be stated in a much more concise manner. Uh, so for example, if you have x is equal to minus 13 by 17, you have negative x will be equal to just 
multiply this thing by minus 1 so that will be equal to 13 by 17 and then you have another negative x and once again multiply this by negative 1 so you will get minus 13 by 17 which brings you back to the uh, x term but the reason I used the argument I did the reason I, I explained it in the way I did was because in the textbook this is how the argument has been framed so both arguments are essentially uh, the same they are just expressed in a slightly different way all right so with that we have completed question number three to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers